Hey y'all, so I am Kai with Creative for Purpose and I create digital art using AI products and then I sell them. So today I'm working on my second coloring book. This is the, the, this coloring book here that I'm working on. Um, I just started creating um, and I wanna come on here and show you guys a quick tip on how to get rid of the shading when you are working on coloring pages. So for those of you whose niche is coloring pages or coloring books, or is this is one of your niches, this tip's going to be for you. So if you've noticed when you're creating the, using AI to create those coloring pages, and right now I'm in chat GPT, so I'm gonna show you, hopefully this works. But when you're creating those coloring pages, sometimes they don't come in just black and white, they have some kind of shading within the image. And a lot of times the image is like a perfect image and you really like the image, but it's shaded. So it doesn't give you really any white space to color in. So you want to get rid of that shading. So I'm going to show you how you can easily get rid of that shading in Canva today. So let's see if this creates us an image with some shading in it. And then I'll go ahead and download it and pull it over to Canva and I'll show you how it works. Okay. So this is perfect. When I talk about shading, you know how coloring pages are supposed to be black and white. The black and white, of course, the white spaces gives you the space that you color in. Well, a lot of times when you're using AI, it doesn't always, of course, work the way you want it to work. So like for this coloring page here, it, it's black and white, but it has some gray shading. And I wanna get rid of that gray shading because this of course is a perfect picture and I'd love to use this in my coloring book. So I'm gonna show you how you can get rid of that shading over in Canva. So I'm going to come over in Canva and I'm going to select create an image. So this is a children's book, children's coloring book. So I'm gonna go ahead and create it in the size of eight and a half by 11. So I've got my project up. I'm gonna go ahead and name it. Just gonna give it that name real quick. I'm gonna go to my uploads. Now that image that I just downloaded, I'm going to go ahead and grab that image. And I'm going to bring it over to Canva. So once it uploads in Canva, I'm going to go ahead and add it to my project. Uh, this is. Okay. Now, once I've added it to my project, now I need to, I like this background, so I'm going to keep that background as well. But if I didn't, I could go ahead and hit the background remover. Um, so I have it added to my project now. So I'm going to go ahead and I would select the image. And I know that the image is selected and that I'm working in this active image because it is highlighted in purple. I'm going to select edit image and I'm going to scroll down a little bit to where I see filters. Once I get to filters, I'm going to scroll all the way down till I see where it says mono. Once I get to mono, I'm going to select classic, okay? So you can see it did take out quite a bit of that shading, but there's still a little more shading, still a little bit of shading in there. And I wanna make sure that my image is completely black and white because it, it gives them enough of the color, uh, enough of the white space for you to color on, okay? So again, I'm gonna highlight that image and I'm going to be in edit image. I'm gonna go back to edit image. This time I'm going to go over here to where it says adjust. And once I get to the adjust section, the first thing I wanna always make sure that the select area is whole image because I'm going to adjust, I wanted to adjust the whole image, okay? I'm gonna scroll down to where it says light and the first selection is gonna be brightness. So for brightness, I'm going to go ahead and turn that all the way up to 100. And you can see now that it's actually created this image and made it black and white. So it's a little, the skirt is a little rough. Um, so let's see if we keep that at 100. And you may have to play with it a little bit. Um, for the whites, we're going to, I'm gonna adjust that as well. See what that does. Um, I'll put that at about 50. All right. 
And then I'm going to see what I can do with the black. See if I can kind of tighten that up on the skirt a little bit because it's a little, it's a little blurry. But you'll have to play with it a little bit to make sure that your image is 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 as perfect as you can get it. But that's how you can go ahead and get rid of that shady, that gray scale or that gray um, area in your in your color pages. So we're gonna go ahead and do another one. I do have some other images uploaded that I'm going to be using in this coloring book. So let's try another one. And this one here is really grayed out. So this is a perfect image. It would be really good to use in my coloring book. Um, but as you can see, I mean, there's really no, no space for you to color in because of the the gray the grayness in it. So I wanna go ahead and get rid of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight that image. I'm going to select edit image and I'm going to scroll down again to filters. Once I get into filters, I'm gonna scroll down to mono and I'm going to select classic, all right? So it did lighten it up some, as you can see, it's not as dark as it was but it, there's still some grayness in there that I wanna get rid of. So again, I'm gonna go back to edit image. This time I'm going to again, go to adjust and I'm going to scroll down till I get to the light section. And now I'm gonna go ahead and slide my brightness slider bar all the way over or until I get a complete black and white image. And again, when you're, when you're doing the adjustments, you may have to play with that adjustment a little bit. Um, but as you can see, it's a good image. It's now black and white. Whereas before, of course, it was it was a gray, it was black, white, and gray. Um, so that's a little tip for you when you're creating those coloring pages that come out with that gray scale or that gray image for you. So thank you for joining. See you later, bye.